Boker Tova, Gemachsim Tova to everyone. Today's daf is daf Lamed Vav in Kedushin, as we learned for four Shalom for Elizabeth ben Ruma and Yosef Zerah ben Chaim Michal. On yesterday's Gemara, <clears throat> Isi ben Yehuda added on to the list of uh, mitz- losases, mitzvahs, negative mitzvahs, things that you're not allowed to do, that the Mishnah had said that general for all mitzvahs losase, men and women are equally, they're, they're equally charged with not committing adultery, with not killing all the things that you're not supposed to do, with not violating Shabbos. Men and women are equal, except for there were a few exceptions that the Mishnah had mentioned. Mishnah said that uh, where, whereas uh, in general, all, all mitzvahs lose to say men and women are equal, there were a few exceptions. Mishnah said, what were the exceptions? Let's see, where is the Mishnah? Find the Mishnah. The Mishnah was the back on Chavtes. Chusmi Bal Takif, rounding your, the corners of your hair, hairline, you know, making it like the monks do, you know, where they, there's no sideburns at all. Bal Tashkis, not shaving with a razor on your face. Bal Tamil and for Kohanim, only male Kohanim are prohibited from becoming Tame, can't go to funerals. Women <laughs> are excluded. Isi Ben Yehuda on yesterday's app added on another one. There's another Mitzvah, you're not allowed to. Tear, make bald spots, bald patches in your hair. That's a piece of losus go to do. So the, on yesterday's Gemara, uh, Isi said that uh, uh, that women are potter from that mitzvah, but that's another losas say, in addition to the iser of tuma for a baskoin and baltakif and baltashos, which only apply to men, not to women, even though it's a losas say. These are losas say, right? Uh, losas say in general, all men and women are equal. Except there's a few losas that they don't apply to men. Baltaka, Baltashkas, and Baltatam and Lamesim, if they're Kohanim. At least you've been it at all. Also, that you're not supposed to make bald spots uh, for, you know, in, in mourning for a dead person. Somebody died, they would tear their hair out. Okay, so there's also a for them not to make cuts or incisions. That was discussed too. But Yisabin Yudah said, why, why is that? Why does Yisabin said that only applies to men, not to women? Women are not forbidden from tearing their hair out. Uh, what, what that's Isi Ben Yehuda's opinion. The Mishnah doesn't say that. That's his, his singular opinion. He bases it on yesterday's Gemara because it says The pasuk says only the males, not the females. That's the pasuk shot in Isi Ben Yehuda bases it on that. Shouldn't cut yourself and you shouldn't tear your hair up. That only applies to men. below That's the pasuk shot. On today's stuff, the very top line that we're starting with now, uh, we'll see Abai and Rabbah give different opinions for Isi Ben Yehuda, not based simply on the Pesach, it says, Bonim Atem. Bonim Atem can mean a lot of things. You know, you are God's children. It doesn't mean Dafka males, not females. It says, you know, you are God's children, you're holy people, don't do these terrible things. It didn't mean to say only males, this is replies to not females. That's what Abai and Rabbah are going to say now. So at the top line, Abai Omer, Haim Atem, the reason why Isi Ben Yehuda says, again, that uh, making bald patches in your hair only applies to men, not to women. Now, again, if you, it's a good idea to keep your, uh, if you look at yesterday's daf and I'm at base, about 10 lines from the bottom of the page, we have the Pasuk there. The Pasuk says, right, That's what it says. And that's a general mitzvah, not for Kohanim, for everybody. By Kohanim, it says, right, it says, um, uh, in Emor, right? What does it say? Emor el Kohanim, right? B'nei Aron. So number mm-hmm. one, it says B'nei Aron there. So all those mitzvahs apparently apply to men, not to women. The basic one, of course, is Lenefesh Lashi Tami. You shouldn't become Tame. There's other mitzvahs that are mentioned over there by the Kohanim. And then the question arises, do those apply also to men or to, or, and not to women? Or does it apply to uh, to women as well? Or, right? In other words, maybe it applies maybe the, 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 or the, the, the whole Parsha is only for males, not for females. That's what we're going to discuss now. So by B'nai Aaron, it doesn't say Lameis, but it says Lo Karcha Baroshem, right? So here, the, so Abaya says, the reason why Yisab Ben Yudas, he learns out Karcha Karcha, it's a Rishava from the Pasuk of Losus Godudu, Banamatam Shev Losus Godudu, which talks about in general to all Jews, Losus Simu Karcha Ben Enechem, and by Kohanim, it says Lo Yikruchu Karcha Baroshem, so it learns that they are Malahal and Nashim too. It's just like they're women or pots of wife, because the whole parsha is only says Bineyaran, only to men, not to women. Afkan Nashim Patur is here also, women are potter. Afkan also Nashim are potter, just like by the parsha of Kwanim doesn't apply to females. All these are there like Tum Tuma. 
So the same thing here when it comes to the Xavier Shavuot, Makarcha also applies only to males, not to females. That's Isi Ben Yudah's reason according to Bayer. Isfir Lon Chavis says, wait a minute. Isfir Lon Chik Sev Kura Bakuli and Yanu Hudich Sev. If you think that the parish of Kohanim, when it says Bnei Aram, which we say all these isur, like for example, going to funerals only applies to males, not to females, and the whole parish is that way, including Leikukukach only applies to male. So what do I need Xavier Shav for? Nishta Krami, they don't say Xavier Shav, but they say, don't tell me that you, that that uh, the isur of um, of making of making a bald spot only applies to male Kohanim and not to uh, uh, female Kohanim. So I, I, why don't I just say? That, in other words, that the women Kohanim don't have that iser. So what do I need any pasuk for by uh, by by male by uh, regular Jews by uh, non Kohanim? It's a kavachomer nishter kromi. They don't say don't say Xavier Shava, Don't say uh, lima to regular Yisraeli. But they say kavachomer. So on a kavachomer, any male say like this. What's the kavachomer? Manach Kohanim, Manach Kohanim should be ben yakosim mitzvah siseris. Manach Kohanim, which are on a higher higher uh, um, status, um, a, a higher um, status of kedusha of holiness, right? That they're more holy because the Torah gave them extra mitzvahs that that apply more and over and above those of males, uh, kachim and and say and refraining from defiling themselves. So malach kohanim should be behind kasev mitzvahs yiseris And even though the kohanim, the whole tribe of kohanim have more mitzvahs than uh, than non kohanim, yet they only, those mitzvahs only apply to male kohanim. Benayarim below barosarim. Israel, which is on a lower a spiritual status, certainly the female non-Kohanim should not have that prohibition. In other words, if 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 you didn't if these the Kohanim were on a higher status, a higher spiritual status, they're held to a higher uh, a, a higher um, uh, yeah like that hard I mean they're at a higher standard. They have a higher standard. They have to keep uh, they keep uh, some uh, in a state of tahara, and they have more mitzvos. Still, their women don't have this iser of tearing their hair out. So certainly uh, certainly non-Kohanim women wouldn't have that problem. So it's a Kavachomer, low kosh game. The Gemara says, well, if it, so what do I need Xavier Shava for? Karcha, karcha. Zilab, Xavier Shava, I made a hifzikenia. I would say, no, no, no. If it wouldn't be for the Xavier Shava, I would say that there is an iser for female Kohanim to tear their hair out. The whole problem, the whole thing that it says with the Bnei Aaron is, Lenef Shalei Tamav, they should become Tamav going to a funeral. Women could, women Kohanim could go to a funeral, only male Kohanim can go to a funeral. But all the other things that, that follow, talking about they shouldn't cut, their, take their hair out, and all the other Yisurim, that applies to females too, who wouldn't even think Zerah Shava. So like Mars says, what, Zerah Shava doesn't help you with, those hips Kenya, he talks about, you know, don't nefshla yitama mama, and then later on it says lo yita lo yitama. He could become tame to his uh, to his wife, right? It says that so there's like a separation there, right? So uh, um, so it's like hipsikinian that the concept of not becoming tame only applying to males uh, that the the, the resurm of only applying to males stops. And now the further issues, the further isurim that we talk about by Kohanim applies to males and females too. Maybe that's what you need Xavier Shav for. So it's Elam Xavier Shav Mina Ipsagin. It's more Hashanami name in Ipsagin. Even if you have Xavier Shava, so what? The Xavier Shava tells you with the Isra that applies to Kohanim or the Heta that applies to women Kohanim applies to non women Kohan non Kohanim women also. So so what? If it's Hipsikainian, if the Isra uh that, that talk about Kohanim uh only applies to uh, that the, the the only Isra that applies to males, not females over there by Kohanim is go going to funerals. Then uh, even if you have a Xavier Shava, it's a, it still doesn't help you. The Xavier Shava doesn't help to change that. You know, that the the other isurim like uh, like Kukarcha, should apply to to female Kohanim and female Yisraelim as well. So Ashnami Nemiyevsekinim. I so what's the Xavier Shava for? If the Xavier Shava doesn't help you to determine what the isra is by Kohanim, in other words, we're trying to say that. Uh, not only are women Kohanim exempt from uh, funeral from attending that they that they're they're exempt from the Isra of attending funerals, they can go to funerals, but also maybe the Isra of Karchov also doesn't apply to them. Who says maybe it does apply to them when the part of B'nai Aaron, the love of is only referring to going to funerals? So, uh, if so, what's the Xavier Shava for? And I'll tell you, so the Imish from Xavier Shava, Xavier Shava said, teach me a different Russia, like Katatanya, La Yikuchu, Yochal, if you look Says lo yikuchu karcha barosha, right? That's what it says. You know, the, that's the that's the pasuk by Kohanim. Right? It's quoted in the second line in Rashi on this page. If you get five, four or five different uh, bald patches in there, you only have once. 
you know, it's, you did it here, you did it there, you did it all over your head. Maybe only chayv one time. A lomer karcha individual. Chayv al karcha zvach tami leikuchu karcha. Could you say leikuchu? Don't make a ball spike. Karcha is that each one, each and every one you chayv. Then it says barosham on their head. Matam alafishin emelos is go to do because when it talks about the iser of regular Israelim, all Jews, that they shouldn't cut themselves, nor should they cut their tear their hair out. So let's go to blows the simu karcha bein einechem between your eyes. How much hair is there? Can you really make a bald spot between your eyes? A little bit, maybe, right? But the maze for a dead body, like we said on Amit Bay, we quote that possible. Maybe only chayev if you tear your hair out, whatever hair you have between your eyes. Maybe you're only chayev there. Then I love us color rosh. How do I know to include anywhere in your Tamaloma Birosham? Oh, by Koanim, it says Birosham anywhere in the Lachayev Allah Rosh Kibedanaim, Lachayev anywhere in the head, just like Bedanaim. Mainly Allah Kohanim. That's by the Kohanim that it says Birosham. Shariba Ben Akasim, this is Caesar, as we said, Kohanim have extra mitzvah, so maybe there they have extra humor that they can't cut their hair out anywhere. They can't make balls bust anywhere in their head. There may be Israelim. The Pussy, it says, Maybe that only applies between the eyes. Yisrael, how do I know? Oh, that's what the Xavier Shav was for. It says Kach in both. Just like by coin and Yechayv on each and every bald spot. Why? Because it says, because it says, it emphasizes, don't make a bald spot. By the Yisrael, it says, so maybe that applies to one or many. But lo yikruhu karcha, lo yikruhu, it tells you balls. Right? Karcha, tell me each individual one. So ma kan chayv al just like by calling your chayv in each of one. Chayv al arosh, command your chayv on the whole head, anywhere in the head. Aflahol and chayv al karcha of karcha. Okay, so by Yisrael, also your chayv on each and every one. That's the Xavier Shabbos to teach me that the general, like the isra of bald spots, is not to teach me about our women uh, chayv or not. Maybe women are also chayim. Maybe the maybe the iser the the idea of bnei aron below bnei aron is only going on going to funerals, nothing else, right? And what's yeah. the zera shav before the zera shav is to teach me that the general iser of making a bald spot that applies to kohanim and to yisraelim, just like the kohanim sees on every each and every bald spot. Same thing by yisraelim, the chayav al rosh, and you're also chayav all over the head, anywhere in the head, just like by kohanim because it says berosham. Even the by Yisraelim it says bein einayim, but the Xavier Shava teaches me that Yisrael is also chayv anywhere in the head. Umala halo ames. Wait a minute, by by Kohanim it doesn't say alames. It says laikufu karcha barosham, but by Yisraelim it says losim karcha bein einayim lames. So now we learn the other way from Yisrael. We learn just only for a, only for an, in mourning for a dead for a dead person for a dead next of kin. Umala ames apkan alames. Okay, so therefore, the Xavier Shav is to teach me that the rules of baldness, what do the, where do, what do Yisurim apply? Each and every one, where it applies on the head, only for a dead body, and as for a dead person, only if you do it in mourning, that's when the Yisur applies, right? So maybe that's what the Xavier Shav is for. So how do we know this business that the, uh, that the, that the uh, Yisur of uh, baldness only applies to men, not to women, based on the Kohanim? Remember, the first threat in the Gemara yesterday was, it says, Abayah says, no, no, no. His reason is because the Gzair Shabbat. But what do you mean? The Gzair Shabbat just teaches me all these other rules. How do you know it applies? Amen. Zimke nechdakra kerach. You could just say kerach, kerach. My karcha, shmanatar. So he learns from the extra hay that is available to teaches me another halacha, that the Yisra only applies to men, not to women. And therefore, the Gzair Shabbat also teaches me that just like the Yisra of bald spots only applies to Men kohanim, just like the issue of Tum only applies to men kohanim, not to women. The same thing applies to Israel. That's a bias, a little bit of a stretch. Rav Amar, as we'll see, Rav doesn't. It's, it's hard to understand. They're well, not that they're all from the Zayir Shava. Rav Amar had a time. So now we have a th- Rav is bringing a third reason. Why does Yisur ben Yuda say that in addition to the the three mitzvahs that we learned that are losa says that apply not to women, as opposed to all other losa says, women can't commit adultery, they can't murder, they can't steal. They can't be Michal Shabbos. All these surim in the Torah apply to men as well as women, except for those three. Isim and Yudos adds on baldness that you can cut your hair out. That's what apply to women. Rabbi Maratan, the Isim and Yudos, the Oak Man, and Nechemit Tfilin. He learns that from Tilim. Malahol and Nashim Paturis. Women are parts from Tilim, as we've learned over the last couple of days, right? Right? Because it, it's connected to Zev Shabbat, to, to uh, Torah, where it says, Maratan, some of the Spanechim, those Spanech, Sechem. And it's a say, from there we learn it's Mitzvah, Sechem, 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 so mitzvillin malal nashim peturus afkan nashim peturus ah because it says bein enechem here and it says for the post bein enechem by tefillin it says bein enechem and it says over here 
So we learn out just like filling women are potter from, even though that's a mitzvah say, this is a mitzvah say, say, still we say the Xerah of punishment for us. For Rav, my time, Lomar Kabayah. Why didn't Rav give a bias reason? He says, Kerav Karkal Amashbole. He says, the Xerah of Shav is telling me the rules of baldness, the hair, where, what, uh, uh, only for a mess, but this extra Xerah of Shav, the, the extra hay, he doesn't hold it there. But Baya, my time, why didn't a bias hold of Rav this reason for film? I'm going to film Gufayim, I'm going to film Gufayim, that's, how do we know it's filming themselves? How do we know where you put your film on? You ever come to show and you see somebody's got that film almost down to their nose? You know, it's hanging down over there. It's supposed to be up here. I, but it says, maybe it should be between the eyes. No, just like the, it says, but over here by the bald spot, the bald, when he says, it doesn't mean literally only between your eyes, it means anywhere in the head where there's hair. You know, if you cut your, if you cut off the little hair that you have between your eyes, there's not much. It's not very noticeable. Top, it's noticeable. So, film itself is learned from there. Tosis asks, so, so what? You can learn out both ways. You can learn out film the place of filin ben enechem. You learn out from like ben enechem, and then you ben teaches me it only applies to men, not to women. From filin, in other words, filin, uh, filin uh, is learned out from karcha where you're supposed to put your filin shorosh, right? Ben enechem means literally not between your eyes, but uh, where there's hair growing on top of your head, right? You learn out film from karcha, and maybe you want to learn karcha from tefillin in terms of, in terms of um, uh, that, that just like the film, just like film women are part of from, so uh, so we are women are part of the mitzvah of uh, leikur karcha. Why can't you say that? So Tosh says maybe the only reason it's brought down is for this. It's a special drasha, and then maybe it's not moved anymore to learn that. And unfortunately, we explain Tosh that way. But anyway, he brings up that point. So, how do we know tefillin goes on top of your head? We learn it from Mikrochacha, because that's that main means on top. So, tefillin also is for that. So, tefillin is not used to teach me a halacha of karcha that it doesn't apply to women, but rather tefillin is learned out from karcha that that's where you put your tefillin on. Malam, Makum Shos, and Karcha, the Gova Shalros, just like over there. Uh, where do you make a bald spot? Between your eyes is not a bald spot, on top of your head is a bald spot. So Afkan Makamanacha, then here also Makamanacha, where do you put your tefillin? The Gova Harosh on top of the head. Ubein Abayi Ben Rava, Hai Banam Atam Aydosh. What is Abayi Rava? Abayi who learned out what? How does he know that women are part of from Karcha? According to Isi Ben Yehuda, based on what? The Karcha, Karcha, the Xerah Shava from Kohanim. And Rava learns it out from what? From tefillin. Just like tefillin, women are part of. And it's Karcha the tefillin, because it's Ben and Echem by both. So, hi, Bonam Atamai. What do they do with the drusha? The first drusha. Bonam Atam Hashem Lekech. Why do I say Bonam? Why do I say Bonam Atam Hashem Just say Mitzvah. Los Tuskoda, Los Simcha. Why do I say Bonam Atam? Sounds like men, not women. That was the first drusha. What do they do with Bonam Atam? My darshi, babe. My darshi, babe. I mean, boy, they still look at the time. Bonam Atam Hashem Lekech. What it means your children, you are sons to God. This man shatam no again, minig money. If you act like proper sons, the custom sons, as you follow in the, in the ways of, of your parents, you follow the Torah, Atam Krim, you're called sons, right? And you go on, if, you, if you're not knowing like children, in other words, you don't follow in the ways of your parents, you don't listen to your parents, then you are not, you're not called Bonam. Bonam Atam means, you're only children, you're only, you're only, you only follow, uh, you're only sons to God, meaning to, to your, you're not only sons, you're called Bonam to Hashem, if you follow the rules, don't, don't go against the Torah, follow God's rules. Those is also a drusha of, we learn from that, that you shouldn't have different uh, customs in the same area, things like that. That's also a discussion of the Skoda. Today it's more complicated because we have all different kihilos, but there's there were times when when you have, when there's one, minigam okum is one thing, you can't you can't change that. And at the Korean button. Different, but that's Rabbi Yehuda's opinion. So he all said that just Bonam has just teach me you're only Bonam if you listen to God. For May Romer, Benkach or Benkach or Tamgum, you're called Bonam anyway. God loves you. You're still called God's children, even if you're not so good. Shemar Pasuk says Bonam. The Pasuk in here says Bonam si kelim. You are children like or you're drunk. Bonam si kelim. You're like drunk. Vomer and the Pasuk says Bonam lo iman bam. Children who have no faith. Vomer another Pasuk says Zera meraim. The seed of uh, of evil doers. Uh, corrupt children. It says, in a place where you'll say, "What you are not my nation." People say, "You're not my nation." More, Yomalem will tell them back, el chai." You know, you are children of the living God. So, the mayor's opinion here is, even though you're bad, you're still born. You're still against my brother. What do we need all these cooking for? 
Just say it once. You are called drunken kids. You know, you don't follow away. You don't, you know what you're doing. Uh, if they're drunk, they're called bottom. He less boom and I, but if they have no faith in God, low uh, maker, uh, but they're not called, they're not called children. Tashma va omer, it says, bottom low even bum. Children have no, there's no faith in them. There's no faith in them. They have no faith in God. We have no faith in them. But in other words, they're still called bottom. Even though they have no faith, they're still called bottom. He tame a key less, but this one, it's no faith. Who do make it? Then they're called bottom. Keep all of us, but if they worship about a Zara, then they're not called children anymore. Tashma, now the Pasuk says, Omer Zara Marayim. Whereas Zara Bani Mashkisim, Pasuk says, they are a seed of evil, of evil doers, uh, corrupt children, but they're still called children. You see, so that's the mayor's point. You're still, even if they're bad, even if the Jews are bad, we're still called Gashim. They're called bad children, right? They be called corrupt children. The name of they're not called good children. Tashma, Pasigas Baomer, There's a place where people say, You're not my nation any longer. No, they are children of God. And here are more mitzvahs, here are more mitzvahs that don't apply to women. But uh, don't apply to women. These aren't exactly low, so says these are just mitzvahs. Asmichos, where you have to put your hand on the carpet. The Baalim puts his hand on the carpet, pushing it down. Tanufa, waving. Certain Kobanas are called waving. Certain Kobanas mincha. Agoshes, where you bring the uh, carpet mincha near the southwest corner of the Mizbeach. Kmitzas, remember the Kohen does the Kmitzah, which is the equivalent of Shkita. Uh, Kmitzah by a flower uh, offering by uh, by a um, carpet mincha. Uh, all these things are only done by males, not mm -hmm. females. Taurus being mocked through the animal, right? Burning the animal. Malikos doing malika, pinching the animal, the chicken, right? Now, if it's a, if it's a, not a chicken, if it's a carbon, it's a, you can't do malika on a chicken, only on a, on a, on a, uh, a yoda, on, only a yoda or, or b'nai what? B'nai torib, only those two, those only ones you can bring as carbonus, but you do malika, it's owned by a coin, even though a, a Israel could do regular shita on an animal, but a hakabolic being kabbaladam is all sprinkling. No again by Nashim Lashim. All these things apply only to men, not to not to women. Now, Smich and Trufas will see that right, the other things are basically by Kohanim, the latter ones. Smich Trufa, not even with the Balam, but only men, not women. Chusmi, except except in Shusmi Chasota, where the woman also does the Trufa, the Sota herself brings the carbon. Unazira, if a woman is a Nazir, Shahim Manifas, they do Trufa. So there is tenu, there is Trufa. Uh, by women in those two exceptions. So how do we how do we know that these will apply only to men, not women? So smicha sasiv davel bnei Yisrael. Some of bnei the some the bnei Yisrael some from the Imran says like smicha says davel Yisrael the samach bnei Yisrael does smicha not not bnei Yisrael. Tufus davel bnei Yisrael behenet bnei Yisrael many from the Imran Yisrael. The same idea. Each case says bnei Yisrael not women. Agoshes to sasiv v'zos hatarav v'zos hatarav min chayik rei v'sab bnei Aron bnei Aron v'lo baros Aron. Kmitzus to sasiv v'vi al bnei Aron. The comments. Bnei Am v'lo brasan. Hakatoras to sif hektiru also bnei Aron. Bnei Am v'lo brasan. All these things as bnei Aron not to know. Hamalikos to sif umolik nehektir is kish malika like Torah. Just like by Hakatar it says hektiru also bnei Aron. And there's a hektish malika also only bnei Aron. Only a male coin can do, and only a male coin can do malika not not any uh, no females. Hakabalos to sif the krivu bnei Aron. Bama ma hekrivu refers to. They creep as ukabalos adam. That's only only done by males. Hazos sprinkling hazos. What, what kind of spring? Are we talking about the paraduma? There, Elazar Kasaba, you have to have either Elazar, who was the assistant uh, coin guttle, the vice coin guttle, or some say that was only at that time, but later on it's only the coin guttle, but certainly nobody less. Even a regular coin can't do it. So, what do you tell me women can't do it? Certainly women can't do it. Even a regular coin can't do it. It has to be the coin guttle or the assistant coin guttle. Either, depending on what we're talking about, uh, on Yom Kippur, the coin guttle, a coin Mashiach Kasaba. <laughs> that the hazard that he does on the kaporos on the in the uh, kachik kashim only the coin gadol does that. So what do you mean, oh men not women? El hazard the men of a regular bird. The asik habachomer mi ben son from a from a uh, from a flock. You know, it's either a kevus or or a um, or a gedi, either a, a lamb or a goat. Uh, it says ben son says ma ben son shelo kavlo coin shkaso. You don't need a coin to shecht it. Kavol a coin la zaso hazo, meaning the it really means the zrika zrika sadam. Uh, it's only done by a coin. Ben of the bird she kavol a coin So only a coin can do its shkita, which is malika. And then she equals zaso. Certainly should be hazo. So that's how we know that only that hazo of a bird can only be done by a coin, because even uh, sprinkling the pouring of the blood on the mezbeach. Of a carbon, which the carbon can be shechted by a by Israel, by a czar. There, only a coin could do this. Rika certainly by the Malika, where only the coin could do 
the Malika, certainly that's all that's only by the Karn. Chutz Mim Chasatan is here. Amalei Rav Lezer, Rav Yoshia, Rav Yoshia did the Rei. Rashi's over here, right? There was two Rav Yoshias. There was a Rav Yoshia who always argued with Shehe B'dar HaMar Kamosa, B'yesh Lav Mikan Rashi says, Shadayim B'me Rav Lezer, Rav Yoshia Bar Kluk did Rav Yonas and Kayim. The other one was around still. That's why he said Rav Lezer Dore, the younger one of his generation. Don't sit down on your feet. Don't sit down. Adam Mishli Hashemai. Until he explains, Min Ayma Min Chasot Shet Tun Tarba. How do we know Min Chasot requires to to for waving? Min Alan, you wave it in all directions like you do the lula. Min Alan, Min Alan Megufei. It says success. Vehein of Hasamircha. It says you have to wave it. El Tun for Babalamanam. How do we know that the owner does it? Meaning in this case the Sota. Asi Yad Yad Mishlam. You have a Gzeir Shava Yad from Shlomim. Right. Ksev Hocha Velaka Chakam Yad Haisha takes it from the woman. Right. Miyad Haisha says Yad. If awesome, by Shlomim, it says Yodov to Vienna, his hands will bring it. Makan coin, just like over here by by the uh, Sota, it says Cohen says Lakacha Cohen, Lakacha Cohen Miyadi. She hears Cohen. Aflohon Cohen by Shlomim also has to be the coin. Malohon Balim, just like over there, the Balim has to come, bring it bring it together. Afkan Balim here also the Balim, meaning the the uh, Sota also has to bring it. Okay, so Cohen Machnas Yodo Tachas Yad Balim. The coin puts his hands under the hands of the. Balam. In this case, it's the woman. More already talks about what he's touching a woman, but there's no there in a place like that. There's no uh, here hurim and in, where they're bringing a carpet, etc., and all the things that are going on there. Who made if any waves it? Ashkan sota. That's by sota. The zero. How do we know in the zero also? Asi kaf kaf misot. Zera shava kaf kaf misot. So here you're learning zera shava. Zera shava. You could do that. You learn that from sota. And and Tosias over here. Why isn't it a chasitza? His hands under the hands of the Baal, and I think why is it chasitza? Because the Torah specified that's how you do it in this case. In another case, for example, let's say Shutfin bring a carbon, they don't do the tunufa, right? Because if they would, if they're both, if they're both Baalim, one's going to be a chasitza over the other. The Torah doesn't say, it doesn't give you a special case there, you, they both put their hands together. But over here, the Torah says this is how you do it, so therefore it's not considered chasitza. The Torah says that. Come to Shit Tulibas, any, any mitzvah which depends on the land, something that grows out of the land, or Peya, Leka, Shikha, anything as well as land. Uh, and I guess it only applies in Eretz Yisrael. So the Oretz means land, and Oretz, the second line, Oretz means Eretz Yisrael. Shamefully, Oretz, if it's not something that depends on land, for example, putting on tefillin, eating kosher, whatever, all that stuff of you know, shechting an animal, that doesn't bend on the land. No, I guess that applies, ben by Oretz, ben chutz Oretz, except chutz mena Arla. Arla applies even in chutz Oretz, mena Torah, right? You can't have the first three years, the chutz Arla, uh, that you can't you know, eat the foods the first three years. Mitri Uklayim. Klayim is Drabban and Rashi says. And even that we'll see is only Klay Karim, not Klay Zroim. But Arla applies in Shutzar, it's also Minatora. Blazamar Afa Khadish. Also Khadish, Minatora applies, and you can't eat the new uh, the new uh, grain until after the um until after the Komer Omer is brought on the second day of Pesach. That you can't eat the uh, new grains, even the Flitzlars, until after the second day of Pesach. All right, we'll explain from tomorrow, Mishim. The whole the, this whole week we're at Five o'clock, start at five o'clock, ten p.m. New York. Mark Simatov, an easy fast. Mark Simatov, have an easy fast.